Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. In the last episode we kind of took a while, but we, we finally made our way inside the underwater reactor. Kind of got lost, turned around a little bit, but we found our way. Um, I don't know what was going on. We uh, got turned around by a cutscene saying, oh, I thought we were missing something, but apparently we weren't missing anything, at least not that I've noticed. And we finally made our way inside the reactor, so I think we should be able to finish the reactor in uh, this episode. I don't think it is going to take longer than that, if I remember correctly. Now, if you are enjoying this series, I'd appreciate your support. So hit that subscribe button, whether you're on YouTube, Rumble, BitChute, or Odyssey, and check out these episodes live on YouTube and Twitch. Ooh, this will be an interesting enemy to see in the remake. Just like the, just like that house enemy. I wonder if they'll do more with this enemy, like they did the house. That house was awesome. He just tossed me out of the battle. That dude. Be nice if there was like, should they like, you know. A time limit to when Cloud came back, but nope. They had that in Final Fantasy VI. Or no, I guess there were still some enemies that knocked you out permanently. So never mind. I think I'm thinking of a different one. A different... Maybe Final Fantasy V. Kind of blending together now. At least mecha mechanic-wise, they're blending together. Story-wise, it's still fairly uh, solid, I suppose. Maybe a little blending, or like misremembering what story applies to which uh, which game. All right. I actually don't remember how long this place was. Deeper underwater. At least that's what it looks like. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Imagine building this structure underground. It's amazing stuff. I always wondered how they like, like some bridges they have like cement at their base to support them. Um but the cement is underground, or uh, not underground, under the water. So I always wondered how the cement even hardens. Like, do you have to like build a structure where the cement is going to be poured and then pump out the water? Because I can't imagine any other way to do it. Unless there's some cement that dries in water somehow. I actually should look that up. I've been thinking about that for years. That's, that's something I... That's something I thought about when I was a kid, and I just never looked it up. Oh, save point already? Kind of interesting. I mean, we had a save point earlier. We haven't had any difficulties in this place, so I'm kind of surprised. Maybe uh, we're going to be fighting that boss pretty soon. Or you, your cloud. I like how this uh, this room kind of is reminiscent of the the first reactor. And I guess the second one too. Kind of funny that uh, that dude's just standing right there. He obviously saw us just mow down his friend, and he's gonna be next. You're not getting this huge material. Well, at least this time they fight together. Not that it mattered if all three of them fought together. They'd still be dead. Alright. 
do a little healing. Alright, some more soldiers here. Anything in here? Nope. It's not, I guess it's not really like the other reactors. So you are after the huge material. Definitely am. After screwing up that train mini, you know, train mini game. I don't know what you want. I guess it's not really a mini game, but train sequence. I swear those buttons were not responding to what I was, uh, what the buttons on the screen were not right because they were not doing what I was, they were supposed to be doing. I gotta look up how, how to get that material we lost in that area. We should be reaching the end of this reactor. The reactors usually aren't that big, so it's not like it's a long dungeon. at the end of this. Like I said, I do remember it being sort of challenging, so I hope we're not way under level for it. Because I have not spent any time grinding. Just been a... Um... I've just been kind of mowing through the story, not really grinding. Oh yeah, but oh, okay. <laughs> I guess that uh, I guess Twitch did not like the word train. I had to like, ex I had to like allow that comment. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah, I figured you could buy it. I remember being able to buy it from a villager. I guess maybe later in the story because I could not buy it after the train blew up the town, pretty much. So maybe if I go back now, it'll it'll work. It'll be better. Or it would be available, but I think it's, I think it's, it was, it's pretty expensive. As opposed to getting it for free, I think. The huge material. Well, they're taking it. It's not very huge, but... Whatever. They're gonna take it on that submarine. We're, we were too late. Alright, now here's that fight that I'm worried about. Did we make it? That thing right there. I forget what that thing's called. Something armor, I think. We have to face any Turks off. What are you doing? Help a load. Cloud. I refuse. Looks like we barely made it. Either give it to us or else. Which is it gonna be? Unfortunately, I don't have time to deal with you. Looks like he has a fire extinguisher in front of him. Or a fire hydrant. My priority is the huge material. Alright, so let's see how this goes. Now he has a machine, so if I have thunder... Okay, and 
Don't die already. Alrighty, gotta start off with the heals. Although we can get the haste in there, so that's good. But it's gonna be kind of a... Uh, it's gonna be a risk, losing control of him. So hopefully we, uh, we're in a good spot. And we'll be in a good spot if I don't mess up Tifa's uh, limit break, which I've been doing lately. Oh, I forgot he's got three, uh, three things to attack. Ho oh, ho ho ho. I don't think I've gotten them all perfect yet uh, so far. Nice. Doing some serious damage. I don't even know if you have to take these arms out. Not sure if it's really needed. Now, who has thunder? Oh, bolt. Oh, I thought someone had bolt three. Oh, please don't be Tifa. Oh man. Oh, she can at least not do anything. Okay. She's the one with the cure. Or the cure too. The only other person with cure has kind of lost his mind. Well, let's hope this doesn't hurt people. Okay then. Never mind. He was doing it himself. So if I can get her, uh... oh nice, nice. Got the one arm down. Let's hope I can actually get some cures off before she dies. Okay, we're good. Okay. Yeah, we're good. He should not die to one hit unless he does some crazy attack. Can we take the other arm out? Nope. This fight is going decent. Definitely not as bad as I thought it would. We've got some close calls, but we're doing fine. Now if we could just do another flare, that'd be nice. Thank you. It's like I have control over him. I was expecting that arm to disappear, but let's see if I can actually steal from this dude. Nothing to steal. I'll just try to get rid of that arm. Should be close. If it's got as much HP as the other one, it should be pretty close to uh, being gone. Oof. I do not have a cure too for everyone. This might be a little bad. Uh, not even for him. Do I have another? Oh, I don't have another one either for that. I was trying to heal Tifa, but I guess I healed uh, Vincent instead, so whatever. That's fine. We got that we got that sword anyways. I think Tifa or I think Cloud's doing more damage by himself. I mean without Bolt 2. No, Bolt 2 is better. Not by much though. No, not this again. Oh, 
Let's see. Okay, she cured herself. That's good. We can do the limit. Nice, 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 nice. If he's not dead after this, I'll be, I'll be shot. I'm surprised I got that twice, though. Those last couple ones are really hard. I don't know if he dies as soon as he has no HP or he has to go through all of them. Nice, nice, nice. That fight couldn't have gone any better. Or I guess it could have, but... Because Tifa did die once, but... I don't know if that was in my control. I don't know if you can actually stop them. Once he grabs her. I guess we could have attacked his arms, but... She might have died before. I guess I could have cured her, but whatever. Damn, the submarine. We have to go after it. There is a way. Let's get some cures. Battle trumpet. Scimitar. Leviathan scales. Let's take a look at that stuff real quick. Scimitar. So, okay, that's Sid. Cat side. And then. What's this for? Scales with the power of water. Is that the Leviathan summon? I like how they're just glitched out when it's on 3x speed. Oh no, that's just the way they are. Y you. Oh, we're well, not at that cloud, are you? You do not want to give me one a break. I don't think I've ever used Comet. Maybe once. That's already at level 2. Let's actually try, try using it. It'd be fun to use. Oh nice, it automatically targets everyone. Oh, no wonder I couldn't- the all- the all material would not work with this. Okay. That was pretty OP. Although it took like I think a hundred MP to use that, so I don't know how worth it it was, but you want the sub? Just try and take it, uh, sir. Maybe we shouldn't piss them off. Pincer attack. Thought you weren't going to piss us off. Let's take this guy out. Oh, never mind, she took it out. She did it all by herself. You can really take a lot of damage by uh by being attacked on both sides. I, I think they get back attacks on you. So if they if they attack you like in a specific pattern, they could just because then every time you get hit from the back, you turn around, so then the other guy can hit you in the back, so it's just like, you can just get destroyed. Alright, let's save it. Definitely do not want anything to happen. The game has crashed on me twice already. Which is kind of shocking, because I don't remember that happening when I was playing it before. No, no, this is terrible. We don't have much time left. I don't want to die. 
There's still so much more I got to do. I never even got to do my special victory dance in battle. Alright, then make this your first victory. Go on, show. Yes, sir. Remember, your last training. Begin. Yes, sir. I'm back. And now I got no regrets. Attack. Fight them or take them prisoner? No, let's take them prisoner. Do something different. Someone please. I'm sorry, I can't take it anymore. Oh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just sit here and enjoy this. Like uh like cloud uh animation right now. That's so funny. Okay, that's enough enjoyment. Oh still he's still doing it. The lack of space, the shaking, the roar of the engine. What are we going to do? We stole a submarine, but can't pilot it. Well, that's why we ki that's why we kept these guys hostage. It's not very mechanical, but it seems like we're starting to move. Hang in there. Hey, you're right. I do feel a little better driving. No sweat. Just leave everything to me. I wonder if we had Sid with us. This would be different. Well, now what? Let's read the manual. I don't remember. Submarine Operation Manual, Beginner's Edition. That's like submarine for dummies. But in placements. Up, descend, left rotation, right rotation. Oh, they got the descend and ascend backwards for some reason. Speed up, fire, speed down. Okay. Mission orders. Uh, presently on the ocean floor near Chunan, a red leader submarine carrying huge materia is being escorted by covert Shin Shinra submarine units. Furthermore, it has been confirmed that several mines have been dispersed on the ocean floor. The ocean floor can only be monitored with uh, Shinra's sonar radar system. Enemy subs can only be detected within the sonar area. Get in front of the detected enemy sub and lock on. Press Y to f uh, fire a torpedo. The mines are found on the radar. Are at, at the top of the indicators. The mines inflict great damage, so be careful. Objective, sink the red leader submarine carrying the huge materia. Time limit, 10 minutes. Advice, 1. Get the enemy submarine in front of you. 2. Concentrate attack on the red, uh, red leader submarine. Three, if you lose track of the enemy, press R and use your radar. No kidding. Let's get started. Sit in the seat. Uh, everything seems set. Oh, we don't, I don't think, unless it's a different manual. The switch. Main screen on. Change the screen mode. Should not have been. Was oh, that a mine? I forgot I could slow down. Where is everyone? Turn around, it's ridiculous. Where is everyone? Are they really out of here? Come on. Stuck on.
Alright, that's the yellow dude. I'm not, I don't care about the yellow dude or looking for the red dude. Wherever he might be. Oh, I think that's him. That was easy. Just kind of had a hard time with uh, the controls in the beginning. Kind of wish they were just kind of on screen, but instead of all this other stuff that I really don't need. Received Shinra sub. Phew, we did it. The huge materia should be at the bottom of the sea by now. Let's continue the search. All Shinra submarine units, do you read? Us Shinra submarine units, do you read? Hmm, this must be from Shinra. Report number two. Number two. I saw that written at the dock. They must mean this sub. Alright, I'll do it. This is Shinra number two. Everything's normal. Roger. Your next mission is return to Junon dock. We will transport the huge materia from the airport. Those without other assignments will report for guard duty. That is all. Over and out. Junon Airport. We should make it if we hurry. Forget about the huge materia for now. We're climbing. First the ocean, now the air. What a busy day. Oh, there's a weapon. Or emerald weapon, at least. How to drive the submarine. A to get on. To move forward. Slash move forward. B to get off. Submarine. I guess that it also does that. Players can be on, uh, get on and off in bays like this one. Okay. Now let us save it, and we'll probably end this episode since we're you know right around the 30 minute mark. Seems like a good time to end the episode. In the next episode, we will. Uh, I guess. Uh, I don't know, I thought the huge material was going to be transported by the airship, but since it's still at the bottom of the ocean, I don't really know why we're going to the airport. So, but come check out the next episode and find, find out uh, with me, because I don't remember. So, thanks for watching and have a good day.